Sons of Manuhorab, you are all welcomed in this platform today. Hopefully you will learn a lot from whatever we're going to be sharing on. And I want to welcome all those who find themselves on this platform. As I always say, this is by God's design. Let us do our professions and see how far God will lead us. One, two, three. Uh, 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 I found first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things are added to me. I believe in Jesus Christ and signs and wonders are following me. Surely goodness and mercy are following me all the days of my life and I dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Hey, we will do our procedure manual and our procedure manual goes this way. One, two, three. This book of the law shall not depart from my mouth but i shall meditate in it day and night that i may observe to do according to all that is written in it for then i will make my way prosperous and then i will have i will have good success it's very important for you to know that let's take it nice and deliberated not in a hurry today okay we'll do our uh, season 2020 2021 it's a powerful declaration one two three this is my season of faith exploits and divine adventures where impossibilities are transformed into possibilities through the faith of the Son of God. We are continuing with our subject on the mind and limited resources. We are focusing on this tab, uh, subtitle, namely reasoning. One of the mind's functions is reasoning. One of the mind's functions, there are many manifold functions of the mind, but one of such is reasoning. God expects you to engage your reasoning capabilities. He wants you to engage your reasoning capabilities because you are capable of sitting down and reasoning out issues. You don't have to just dive into situations. You don't just have to open up your mouth and just speak without reasoning. God expects you to apply or to, to engage your reasoning capabilities. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 says... Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. It's a powerful invitation. God is inviting you. He says, come, come, let us sit down and reason together. You reasoning together with God. What a powerful invitation. And, and verse 19 says, uh, 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 actually, let me explain what reason is all about. To reason implies to engage rationally, to engage rationally, logically, and analytically. Well, understand, that's, that's, that's that reasoning. To reason implies to engage in rational, logical, and analytically uh, uh, thinking. Analytically thinking. You don't just think, you analyze. You analyze situation. To reason also means good judgment and sound sense. Good judgment and sound sense. The people who have bad judgment, they always see things wrongly because they never sit down to analyze. Analytically, uh, thinking is very, very important for you to do things the way you're supposed to. We must apply our reasoning capabilities. The end product of reasoning is, is, is making quality decisions. The end product of reasoning is quality decisions. You will never make decisions that are not quality, that are not going to give out great results. Reasoning enhances the quality of the decisions you make. That's what reasoning will do to you will enhance the quality of decision you make. You will never find yourself just married because you never sit down and apply your mind. What kind of a person is this that I want to live my whole life with? And when you make a decision because of those reasoning capabilities, you will make a sound reasoning. You are not driven by just emotions. You have sat down and made calculative reasoning. And verse 19 of Isaiah chapter 1 says, If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good. Listen to that. You shall eat the good of the land. There are few good things in this land. But you can only be able to partake of them and enjoy the goodness of the land. If you are going to do what? If you are going to be willing. 
willing to do what? Willing to reason, willing to come and sit down with God and reason out issues. You will eat the best of the land. If you reason, and vegetable. <laughs> if you are a person who reasons, you will benefit from what this land is producing. This land is producing oil, meaning you will never run short of your petrol. You will, you will, you will always be, be, be benefiting from what this, this earth is producing. Vegetable over a healthy person. Why? Because you are a person who uses the capabilities of your reasoning and faculties. Capabilities of your reasoning faculties. I'm telling you, when you reason, things will just be favoring you. Over Begin to apply your mind and sit down with God and keep on reasoning. You will also gain access into your inheritance here on earth. Of course, we've got eternal life, which is the most important. But once you're here on earth, you will enjoy the inheritance, everything that God has set aside for you to enjoy when you, once you're here on earth. Reasoning also involves looking at issues of life, looking at issues of life objectively with a view of locating, with a view to locate the right steps to take and processing issues in your mind to do what? To draw intelligent conclusions. You're not just going to find yourself having concluded things and you regret. No, you would have applied your mind and reasoned around issues and affairs of this life. When you make those conclusions, those will be sound conclusions. Listen to Isaiah chapter 41 verse 21. Wow, what a powerful psalm. I mean, uh, Isaiah chapter 41 verse 21. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 21. It says, present your case. This is what God is calling you to come and reason together with him so that you can be able to do what according to Isaiah chapter 41 verse 21. So that you can be able to present your case. The Lord says, present your case. Bring forth your strong reasons. Bring forth your strong reasons. God is not shying away. He says, bring, bring your strong reasons. God expects you to be a deep thinker so that you can bring forth your strong reasons. It's amazing. It's amazing how the political son walked out. According to the political, political son, you remember the political son who took his inheritance from his father and went out and, and spent it wastefully with people and friends. We assume that was in parties and all that. But what amazes me about this political son, he walked his way out of slavery, poverty, pigsty by productive reasoning. He reasoned a way out of his predicament. By so doing, he broke loose from the chains of servitude. Because he was saving some other people as if his father is not rich. He broke. He broke those chains of slavery. Those chains of servitude. Hunger and nakedness. One day, he decided to sit down and engage his mind in reasoning. And the Bible says, in, in, in Luke chapter 15, verse 17 and 18, verse 17 and 18, when he came to himself, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare? And here am I, I'm perishing in hunger. Verse 18, then he says, I will arise. You see, reasoning will make you make conclusion. And then he says, I will arise and go to my father. And I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against the heaven and before you. You see, most of the time when we do sin, we sin against God, but we sin before people. Then he says to his father, because this boy had applied his mind. When he was going through a difficult time after he squandered everything that he took from his father as his inheritance before time. 
the prodigal son engaged in the art of reasoning to terminate his suffering. You can do the same. If you lose your I'm telling you, if you lose your art of reasoning, the enemy will take advantage of you. No matter how hard you pray, God will not think for you. He will never think for you. You must do your thinking. You must be the one who, who sit down and reason. It is your responsibility to think, not God. No, 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 no. It is, it is your responsibility to think, not God. It is you who must sit down and reason out issues so that you can benefit from the good of the land. It is time to effect change in your situation. How will you effect change in your situation? By, by applying the capabilities of your reason, reasoning power. God counts on you. God counts on your reasoning. I'm telling you, he counts on your reasoning for him to be able to do exploit. Receive in the name of Jesus the grace to employ this fundamental function of the mind in your personal life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. In conclusion, Luke chapter 14 verse 28. Which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost whether he is able to finish it? Who of you will sit down when you are pursuing a project? Who of you will not sit down when you want to pursue a project to apply your mind and count the cost so that you can be able to determine whether you will be able to finish the project which you have started? Every tower builder, every tower builder is a tower thinker. Every tower builder is a tower thinker. Depends on your project, how big and significant is your project. Every tower builder is a tower thinker. Everything you see on your on the outside begins from the inside because you have applied your mind everything that you see on the outside begins from 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 the inside everything you see in the in the open or in public everything you see in the open started in the secret that's where reasoning applies I said in closure, because I want you to tap in the, the resources that is within you. And you can tap when you begin to, to, when you begin to reason out. It is time to get back to the fundamentals. Sons of Mount Horeb, it is time for you to get back to the fundamentals. Reasoning guarantees a rising. Promotion is even inevitable. Inevitable. Because it cannot be, you cannot avoid to be promoted. Promotion is inevitable if you apply your mind and you reason. I'm telling you in Jesus' name. Reasoning guarantees a rising. A lot of people whom you see promotions and improvement in their lives, those are people who sit down and reason out. Because reasoning guarantees guarantees with no failure reasoning guarantees with no failure the rising and the promotions in your life as i said promotion will be inevitable unavoidable promotions you will always improve in your life why because you apply your mind i just want to make a prayer for people who are saying wow i also want to be a reasoning person i'm telling you you need god to help you out you need god to assist you there is a lot of things that you can do with the minds that God has given to you. That's why the Bible says you have the mind of Christ and you have to use them. If you use the mind of Christ, you will never fail in this life. I want to pray for those who want Jesus as Lord and Savior. If you are the one who says, Jesus, come into my life. I want my life to transform. Say this prayer after me. Say, Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. I confess my sins before you. I repent. And from today, I'm your child. I'm born again. Lord, give me the hunger and the thirst to read the Bible and to meet with God-fearing Christians in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have made that prayer from today, you are born again. I also want to pray for you. Father, I'm praying for all these that have access to this material that from today they will benefit from the aspect of reasoning, Lord God. That is the reason as they come into your presence and reason together with you. That, Lord God, they will come out of your presence, Lord God, with, 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 with brains, with, with, with ideas that will transform and turn the world around. That will transform their lives. That will transform even people they relate with and their families in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, and I bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Sons of Mandohoreb, we are closing this session. 
then we'll close it this session with with a profession one two three i found first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things are added to me i believe in jesus christ and signs and wonders are following me surely goodness and mercy are following me all the days of my life and i dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever have Hallelujah. May I give those who do not know where, how, and how to find us, who do not know where we come from and how to find us. Uh, we are allocated at, at Cajiso. Here is our physical address and the name of the church, of course, is Grace Bible Church Mount Horeb. And my name is Pastor Makanya Lino, the senior pastor of Grace Bible Church Mount Horeb. And then the address is 11393 Hoy Street, extension six in Cajiso. god bless you we expect to see you soon in the name of jesus christ i love you and i know you love me too in jesus name amen risen and you will stay blessed in jesus name amen <laughs>